I've discovered some pretty bizarre things about girls over the years, and many of them altered my life irrevocably once I fully comprehended them. I firmly believe that they can affect yours as well if you pay close attention. So, without further ado, here are the four key secrets society hides about women. Number 1. Girls really enjoy riding roller coasters. The fact that girls are crazy about roller coasters is one of the oddest things that anyone has ever discovered about females. Of course, I'm not referring to the kind of roller coaster that you could find in a theme park. The ones I'm referring to are the ones that take you on an emotional roller coaster. If you were to give a girl the remote control to a TV, 9 times out of 10, she'd put some reality TV show with a lot of drama on. This is something that's always puzzled me because girls seem to be so enamored with television shows that have a lot of drama in them. Funny story, I knew this girl many years ago and I wanted to gauge her level of commitment to me by asking her to do something. Do you know what I did? I took her to the theater and forced her to watch two action movies with me. Two whole action movies. That's at least three hours straight or something. I did this because I know that if a girl is willing to sit through anything other than an episode of the Kardashians with you for three hours straight, it's a sign that she's very invested in you as a person. You need to realize that girls shows like Too Hot to Handle for example might as well be a drug because the effect that these shows have on a girl's brain is basically the same as what you see on the shows themselves. Women, in my opinion, enjoy experiencing the emotional roller coaster, which is why so many of us guys wonder why on earth girls always want to watch drama heavy television programs like Teen Mom. This is the reason girls chase bad boys, chads, or men who treat them like they aren't valuable. So why is this important? And how does it affect me personally? It's crucial because once I realized how much influence emotions have over women, I was able to stop acting in such a predictable way and really get why actions like backing off and not pursuing ladies were so efficient at actually having a lady want to chase you. Always bear in mind that ladies will always find the guy who can keep her experiencing emotional ups and downs as the most attractive. Girls will also always be drawn to the guy who can keep her wondering and pique her emotions in ways that other guys can't. Which brings up number 2. Guys wish they had something akin to a master key when it comes to attraction. And what I'm going to share with you is pretty much as close as you can get. Girls need to feel something. Girls frequently mention that they still have feelings for an ex-boyfriend for instance, which I find to be incredibly intriguing. One of the funniest and most profound things I ever discovered about girls is that they make decisions about men based on how they feel about them because women are, on average, far more affected by their emotions than men are. Numerous guys struggle with women because among other things, they try to rationally persuade them of their merits. Women, you see, have and always choose men based more on how they can make them feel rather than all of the rational reasons why he would be a good catch. Therefore, the more you can arouse a girl's powerful emotions, whether they be positive or negative, the more drawn to you she'll be. Now, it goes without saying that it's best to strive for happy emotions rather than negative ones, so remember that at all times. You can be much more conscious of how you're making girls feel when they're around you. Now that you know that girls work largely with their emotions, and that my friend is powerful. Number 3. Women prefer men with options. One of the most bizarre things I've ever discovered about women is that they like partners who have options. Period. I can still clearly recall the amazing time many years ago when I finally accumulated a max cash stab in RuneScape. And wow did I have alternatives. Because I could burn through money in a way that other players couldn't, with that much money, I could buy pretty much anything I wanted in the game and progress way faster than any other player. But you know what? I still couldn't buy happiness with all that in-game gold. I'm joking of course, it was attraction that I couldn't buy, it couldn't provide it for me. Many of us who've used to or still play video games frequently wish we could somehow translate our virtual wealth to the actual world. 
Because if you had a hundred million dollars in the real world, you best believe that you would never struggle to attract the attention of women ever again. You guys need to understand that girls are wired to prefer men with options, and the explanation for this is actually quite straightforward. See, the main factor that a typical man will consider when deciding whether or not he likes a woman is essentially just how attractive she is physically. Women, on the other hand, are very different from men when it comes to choosing a spouse. Women are going to look for status and pre-selection. So in other words, women want a man who has options or basically a man who's been pre-selected by other women. Now the thing about girls is that they could tell when a man has options because they have enough experience with guys with options and desperate ones that don't have any. That's why they know how they act. Unfortunately, no amount of currency from any video game could ever buy options in real life. Now, the reason this is so crucial is that many males can't capture a girl's attention to save their lives. And this is because they don't know how to act as if they do have options. Guys tend to organically amass riches and status when you pursue greatness and concentrate on becoming the best in your industry. These are all things that eventually result in you having more options. However, even before that, you can begin acting as though you do have options. For example, men with options don't readily offer all of their attention to girls, and they don't supplicate or validate girls all the time. Although it appears incredibly odd for them to act this way because of the things that many guys were taught growing up, this is actually how to appear like you have options. And a lot of girls find it quite appealing. But still, the easiest way to be perceived as a man with options is to go out and pursue excellence until you actually do have options. And while you're at it, don't act like one of those overly kind, desperate men who obviously don't have options. Number 4. Women don't work that way. The final piece of the puzzle that 99% of guys often don't understand is one of the oddest things I've ever learned about women. You see guys are inherently visual creatures, so if a female has a good looking face, a good looking body, we'll feel attraction to her practically immediately. But it doesn't work this way for girls. I mean, sure, women will initially be attracted to you if you're physically attractive, but communication is the main way that women get enthralled. This is why what we know as game is given such a high priority in pretty much any community where guys are seeking to learn how to be better with women. But the ultimate measure of game is how fantastic you can make her feel while speaking to her. Women's reward systems in their brains practically experience a high just from chatting to or interacting with other individuals. This explains why they're able to speak non-stop for what seems like hours on end. In the end, women are more likely to develop feelings for a guy after speaking to him than by simply looking at him. Once you realize this, you'll understand how crucial it is to have excellent social skills and the ability to communicate with women. If you were to look at all the greatest players in the world who seem to have no trouble at all getting girls, you would notice that they all possess excellent communication skills. So what do you think? Care to share some secrets about women that you know about? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. See you next time.